Hey there, gamers and non-gamers. It's Old School Fool right here, bringing some old school goodness. Um, today we're going to be featuring and testing out. Uh, Johnny, uh, Sweet Johnny Cage did a, a um, unboxing for the new uh, Gen X dual station video game system. Plays Nintendo and Genesis, original Genesis titles. So everybody's wondering, hey, you know, what about Genesis? What about Sega? Well, now it's the solution. The uh, Gen X Dual Station Gaming System brought to you by Video Game Central. And uh, like we said, uh, we felt like Sega needed their own little uh, remade system, so we decided to take the best of both worlds, Nintendo and Sega, and uh, compile them into the Gen X Dual Station Game System. Now you're probably wondering, being like, well, you know, uh, how does it work? What does it look like? Well, obviously, uh, Sweet Johnny Cage did an unboxing for you guys. But if you guys didn't have, uh, you know, get a chance to look at that video, you'll uh, actually take notice that it looks like a an original uh, Genesis Model 2, um, very similar, the smaller, toned down version of the original Genesis that was really big with the sub button and the volume. Um, it's got a top slot is for Nintendo games, the bottom slot is for Genesis games. Now, for everybody out there, uh, for the hardcore gamers we actually compiled a little something extra. Believe it or not, this system actually will play Japanese Mega Drive games. Now, what's Mega Drive? Mega Drive is the original Sega version, Sega Genesis in, in Japan. That's what it originally was called, called Mega Drive. So, um, we also uh, give you the ability, there's a little switch in the back, I'll show you in a minute, um, it lets you convert um, the code, the region code, because there were slightly region code back then, um, and then in order to, it enables you to play the Mega Drive games on the Genesis slot. So um, <clears throat> it's really simple. It's got an, uh, an off button is in the middle, on button's 8 bit, off button in the middle, 16 bit would be obviously the Genesis. 8 bit original Nintendo, Genesis 16 bit. Okay, we got the classic reset button. And of course, now it's, what's nice about this whole thing, if you look on the back here, we actually have AV connections. Unlike the uh, original Nintendo remake, um, just had one audio, this actually has two channels. So this has right and left audio channels. Um, so you get to you know hear your favorite sonic tunes in full uh, full stereo. And um, there's a little switch here that says OJ. See? Now we're not talking about the glove the glove. We're talking about uh talking about original which is our standard and the Japanese. So um, so if you're gonna play a Japanese Mega Drive game, um, you just stick with the J and it'll play the Japan region uh, titles for Mega Drive. Um, they haven't been tested with everything in existence, but we're going to show you today uh, how it works with some of those other titles. Um, <clears throat> so, comes with these two nifty six-button controllers. Uh, they're pretty much remakes of the original the Genesis Six button. So, if you're playing Mortal Kombat, you don't have to press the start button to switch back to punch and kicks because we realized how frustrating that was, especially myself. Um, so, you get two two controllers. Um, <clears throat> you get the AV cables and the AC adapter uh, with the system. Now. You can use one at a time, one slot at a time. If you don't want to use both slots, that's fine. You want to put one slot in. Now, <laughs> make sure, please, people, these games are extremely old. They're obviously older than probably some of your brothers and sisters. So you gotta have to make sure, even though it's a new system, you gotta keep your games clean. So if you guys need a tutorial, it's a totally different video. Check it out. Make sure you clean your games. Okay? Now, if you hit it with the 8-bit, eight you'll see pop it right on top. Nice tight fit. Contra. Original Contra. We all remember that great, great goodness, don't we? We get the start select button. We have a slow mo button. Okay, all the original codes, all everything works. Up, up, down, down, left, right, B, A, B. Select star for two players, star for one player. And give it a shot. Start button and select button, and the button in the middle is actually a turbo button. Now, a lot of people wonder, well, what? How do you get turbo out of an old game? But or a slow mo. I'm sorry, slow motion. All it is is them pressing the the start buttons, you know, over and over again. That's how it was slow-mo back in the day, if you guys remember the NES Advantage. But, and so there you have it. Classic Nintendo at your fingertips. There you have it. Classic jump. Yep. Oh, I'm just hiding the water. There you have it. Classic Nintendo fun. Goodness for everyone. Alright, well, so we'll turn it back off, alright? And, We'll get the uh, Genesis game. <laughs> we use Sonic the Hedgehog 2, everybody's favorite classic, Tails and Sonic. And we'll pop it into the second slot. Now, you can have the cartridges in both slots while playing either game. 
doesn't really make a difference how you do it, and you click it to 16 bit. <laughs> now, if your game is cleaned, uh, then it'll start up. If not, you'll get the black screen. So, just take some uh, some uh, some paper towels or uh, moisten a uh, little Q-tip, clean both edges. Um, I don't have a Q-tip with me right now, so I'm going to do something you shouldn't do: is blowing the cartridge. So we're going to blow on the cartridge. Everybody remember that? So we're going to blow on the cartridge. You never saw me do that. 16-bit. <laughs> and there you go. Boom. I blow these little bad speakers. So there you have it. Sega Genesis. All right. Classic Genesis. Now, for all you wondering out there, well, what about the expansions? Um, same thing. Crisp, clear graphics. Same gameplay. I like to see some time trials out there, guys, with this game. But, uh, yeah, same thing. Of course, if you had the second player, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but you could actually take control of Tails as a second player. You guys didn't know that. If anybody played uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the first time, you guys play cooperative. So, either or, you can have a Contra there, maybe Sonic 2 there, for example. Reset button will obviously reset the, the station that it's on. And we'll go back to the opposition. All right, so there you have it so far. Now, like I was saying before, does it play everything? Well, we tested the majority of titles, but um, we also are going to use expansions as you see today. So, believe it or not, because we love you, we've decided to make sure the expansions work with the system. So, okay, as you can see, I just reset it with the um, Sonic 2. Uh, pass through connection, connected to Sonic and Knuckles, and it will play Sonic 2 with you being able to play as uh, Knuckles and Kidna. It's always a lot of fun. Um, and of course you get all the cool super moves that the uh, Knuckles only had in the game. Like being able to glide and punch people out like a big style like that. Yeah, like that, and of course, uh, you guys didn't know, he also climbs up walls. See, he can climb up and down. Pretty cool, right? That's a little, a little Sonic 2 edition. So it works with the adaption cartridges. We also tested it with the uh, another little nice thing is we actually tested it with the Game Genie. It actually works with the Game Genie too. We can't guarantee the code's gonna work. We can't guarantee the code's gonna be you know input correctly because the hardware is different, obviously. But the Game Genie also does start up and work with that. Now, as you'd also like to know. We told you for you guys, uh, for you hardcore gamers out there, we uh, built in a little function <laughs> that enables you to play the original Japanese Mega Drive games. And there's a little switch on the back. I don't know if you guys can see it. We're a little close. It says OJ. Okay. Well, if you want to play the Japanese games, you switch it on J. Okay. And then you start it up. Otherwise, the region code is going to say it's not for this system. So we got. I think this is Kabuki Quantum Fighter. Actually, I think this is. See the cartridge is slightly different. Looks a little different. The pin connection is the same, but the uh, cartridge shoots a little different. Sometimes it's region code. So um, push that bad boy in. It's 16 bit. You get the 16 bit old school Mega Drive playable on your own. So that means like cool games that you you know you hard to find. Maybe some of those. Uh, I know there's another Kid Chameleon that was out. I know there was a uh, you know Splatterhouse games. A lot of cool stuff that you probably, if you can't get your hands on stateside, then you'll probably be able to find, you know, on Japanese. But yeah, old school. So, that's it, guys. That's the Gen X Dual Station Video Game System. Check it out, VGC. Uh, Gen X Dual Station Video Game System. The original Nintendo and Genesis Game Player. Two controllers. Good times. Great old school fun. Check it out.